So I'm pretty much gonna just touch it up a little. One, two, and then start scrubbing away. That's before, and then you'll see after. These are the two dogs I've ever had. Man, they have changed my life. They really have. They are one of the best things that ever happened to me. Dun, dun, dun. So, this guy just threw up. I don't even know if it's throw up. Maybe a little bit. Throw up. Poop too. Throw up and poop everywhere. We a cleaned little, up a little bit. A little, a little diarrhea situation going. I don't even know where to step because. So this is for anybody that obviously has dogs and kind of want a little bit of help with their situation. Like for example, you want to know how to re remove stains or like odors in your room, especially when you have a carpet. Okay. I've had these puppies since they were like eight weeks old, and here and there, obviously, they get a little sick and their tummy or whatever it may be and they throw up or poop in the house and when that happens you got to get down and get your hands dirty well not technically you can just get some gloves so. <laughs> you get the dress right when we got home today little did we know there was poop and crap all over the place but we we kind of done a, a pretty good job already of cleaning it obviously i'm going to show you these little mini stains yeah, these one we already, first of all, we started yeah. to clean pick, everything up, yeah. pick it up with a paper towel. Yeah. We're gonna share with you what <laughs> we know, okay? So, what you do is you go to your pet store or Walmart or Target, it don't matter. Uh, you just go buy one of these stain and odor remover. And what you're gonna do is, before you spray this, Make sure you pick up as much, you know, crap as you can. Whether it's throw up, whether it's poop, or whether it's foam. Because sometimes when they throw up, there's gunky foam in there. So you want to pick it up as much as you can. Have it in a separate bag like this, if you can see. Uh, you can I don't do know that. if we should go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I almost went in the house, yeah. probably not. We've been doing a pretty good job of doing that. The reason why there isn't a lot is because we already uh -oh. kind of picked it up. What? Uh oh. If he, I mean, if he does go, it'll kind of be. Are you okay, Dumbo? Should we take him to the balcony? It's, it's okay. Are you okay, Popeyes? That's a sign of wanting to throw up again. So he might throw up, but obviously it's okay. He's just a little sick. I'll just go ahead and pick it up. And if it does happen, I'll show you live in action on how to take care of it. Obviously, I hope he doesn't because it means I'm going to have to take care <laughs> of it. Yeah, he's been really sick lately and it kind of makes me feel guilty and really bad. Uh, before you get pets, remember, it's it's a tough job, man. It really, you shouldn't just get pets just because you want to get pets. You know, it's, it's really tough. It's really hard. With all that being said, I'm going to show you how to uh, remove this stain. Like I was saying earlier, I already sprayed it, already picked it up, and you pretty much kind of scrub it as much yeah. as you and can. And we also leave that thing for like 15 minutes. Yeah. Leave it for a little bit so it's like really Yeah, so all of the odor in. should be already getting picked up. So it's already all sprayed. So it kind of, it's gonna take time, obviously, but you just kind of like scrub. If you do in rotation, sometimes it helps a little, but obviously it depends on the item, the supplies that you have. But uh, yeah, you kind of try to scrub it as much as you can. It gets really tiring on the hand, but what can you do? You just get comfortable and scrub away. Scru I should have not said that. Family friendly, you gotta, I gotta be good. And uh, yeah, you kind of pretty much do this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of getting better and better. I promise, if you guys would have seen, at first when we got home, whoo, it was all over the house. It was so gross. So I try not to do too much. I know it says it's all safe and all of this and all of that. You pretty much do this until all the stain is removed. Uh oh, I think I might have to take him on a walk right after this. There's another one more stain over there after this. I think the reason why this is happening is because we've been moving around a lot. There has been a little stress in the, in the body as well as mentally. I just gotta do a better job of taking good care of him. And plus, I think they're getting a little old. They're getting into that age where they're gonna start needing some uh, dog multivitamins, stuff like that. Like they're both seven right now. Yeah, they're seven. So, I kind of got to get on top of my crap, my shiznails, 
but uh, yeah, this is pretty much kind of how you do it, guys. I hope this was helpful. And if it is, make sure you press that thumbs up and subscribe for more banger videos like this. You got to join the gang because our community is lit. Lit. <laughs> That's how you know you're a Gen Z. <laughs> After you scrub it and everything, I would wipe it again either with a Clorox and if you want to do second round. And I guess after the last thing, always make sure that you wipe it off with the paper towel or try to dry it. And you can also even use a hair dryer to dry it so it doesn't get moist in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because carpets do love keeping moist. And when there's moisture, there's bacteria. And when there's bacteria, there is <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's sickness involved. So, I mean, obviously I'm not doing a great job, but again, you do really gotta scrub away your life, your time. <laughs> I'm trying to take this glove off. Can you help me take it off with that glove? How am I gonna take it off? <gasps> take it off! Yeah, like that. It's just so much easier to do it bare hand and then just wash your hands. Then why or, are you wearing these? I was gonna use this, but then. Here. Uh, this what helps. We had a really fun day until we got home, and then this is waiting for, for us. And so it's all fun and games until someone gotta do some work. <laughs> so, look at all the. You. The nastiness in here. It's got a little. Poopy color too. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we gonna keep it? Where are we gonna put it? I don't even know. All right. In the balcony. Put it in the balcony. <laughs> well, I feel like throwing. Ew. <sighs> I'm gonna have to clean out my own throw up after this. I remember when I used to live with Brian. One time, D was really, really sick, and he was having diarrhea all over the house, pooping on my bed, on the couch. I, <laughs> you I threw to, the. Yeah. yeah. I had to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was so gross. Oh I God, love yeah. Brian, but Brian was like, what's going on? It smells like in here. I was yeah, like, uh, I remember going to your place and your couch was gone. I was like, oh what my happened? God, <laughs> just so funny. This was when he was like three years old, I think. And uh, yeah, it's, it's hilarious. Man, before you have kids, you definitely should get a, a pet. Anybody. I, I highly recommend, but they're just not easy, but they're super fun for sure. We got two. We got Daniel and we got Hunter right there. Daniel is uh, a pit bull uh, slash uh, a boxer mix. He's super adorable. Adorable. <laughs> adorable. Like, I've never seen a dog like D. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that because he's my dog, but it just he's a very rare mix. And obviously we have Hunter, the Border Collie. One of the smartest dogs I've ever encountered or even had. These are the two dogs I've ever had. Man, they have changed my life. They really have. They are one of the best things that ever happened to me. Other than, of course, you know, person behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we scrubbed that away. So we wait a little. Until then, we go scrub this one. There's another one over here. So I'm pretty much gonna just touch it up a little. One, two, and then start scrubbing away. That's before, and then you'll see after. So I'm gonna have to take them to the vet pretty soon. It's gonna be like four, five hundred dollars that I don't got right now. And uh, yeah, that's what it should look like. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. You probably can. And that is how you clean odors and stains that your lovely pet leave you in the house if you're tired until next time this is minty fresh don't forget to like comment subscribe until next time he met you Ooh, i just kissed him even though my hands is nasty <laughs> ew oh, no. hell no even dembo's not kissing you tonight i'm not kissing them. dembo hi baby hi baby it's okay you can stay okay you're okay you stay <laughs> Good point, Nyo -nyo. Uh. And this guy is just busy with his own stuff.